it's a wrap. We probably caught our limit in like maybe two and a half hours. It wasn't like super hot, but kind of had a little window between noon to one that we caught them in. And then the other ones kind of just kind of came through when we randomly picked them out. So out on the bay, it's a good day. See you next time. Hey everyone, just wanted to give you a quick breakdown of what I use for whitefish here on the bay. So I run a longer rod. I typically like like a 36 inch rod, about medium heavy, um, with a strong backbone and a softer tip so I can feel those bites. So when I do this, I like to run um, braiding line. I run about 10 pound test Power Pro braiding line. And from there I have about a five foot liter of fork, fluorocarbon. Uh, I usually run about five pound test. And then from that leader, I go all the way to join where my swivel is. And on my swivel, uh, I have the basic slider rig. I'll have a slider hook on top. In this particular case, I have a fly. And then up from the swivel down, I have another uh, five pound fluorocarbon um, leader that goes down about 12 inches to 18 inches, depending on the fish's mood, how I adjust that. And from there, I, I run some kind of aggressive uh, jigging lure on the bottom usually like a spoon particular case here i have a shad wrap a jigging shad wrap i love the jigging wraps those are one of my favorite lures to target whitefish with just because i can control the the cadence i can you know make it small movements i can go really aggressive with those and depending on the mood i'll switch colors um you know dark to bright colors and also you know i like to use all kinds of other lures for plastics to spoons, to rattling spoons. Um, but for sure, my favorite are these search baits. So that's basically it. I keep it really simple.